This is America. We have the founding fathers that wrote the Constitution that we haven't lived by in 142 years. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing great. I really do. You know, folks, we're going to go down a little bit of a storyline for y'all. Some of you remember that's been on YouTube long enough. Some of you don't. Well, folks, this video turned out a little bit longer than what I wanted it to, so I'm adding this little clip in here for y'all. And I'm also telling you that this was a long winter, so get your popcorn, you might even want to get your cold beer, and you might, or a cold drink, or whatever, and you might want to even have lunch with it, get you some chips instead of popcorn, whatever the case may be. It is a long winter, and I do cuss in it. Uh, I get a little heated at the end, or about midways, it, it gets pumped up. Uh, when I get to talking about climate change and global warming and uh, stuff like that, I get a little heated, a little bothered about people talking about things they don't really know about. So watch the rest and y'all have a good afternoon. But back in the day, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments used to and flourish, you know, make the channel grow. This day and time, nothing makes it grow unless you have a paid organization behind you pushing it. And even then, if you don't have the right one, it's not so frisky either. And it also has to do with what you push and what you share. Well, Facebook, as you all know, have changed a couple of three or four weeks ago some people's pages look different than others with where the thumbs and the shares and all that stuff are some people's haven't like mine it hadn't changed but the point of the matter is, is you know it's kind of weird it's kind of like this story here let's go to this page right here for a minute okay and let's scroll down Facebook, two shares, well, actually two likes, hasn't been liked, it hasn't been shared either, mainly because when you do take the link like this, and you go over to Facebook, and we're going to come back and talk about this right here, well, let's talk about that now before we go scroll up, okay, this right here, it says 76 people reached with 19 shares. Really? Yesterday it said 12 with 26 shares all day long. Now it's got 19 with 76. I haven't, I, hell, I get that many shares when I, I mean, that many people reach when I don't have no shares hardly. So, what's going on, folks? I don't know. Uh oh. But as you see, sorry about the noise. As you see, he's holding two guns. It's been shared 19 times. He's not doing anything. This is a, a web page story. My point of it is, is why are they blocking out the message to begin with? They doing it everywhere. Everything you do, if you don't go along with the mainstream media anymore with Facebook, they're literally blocking you out. Okay, I mean, that, that's just total facts. And now we're back at the top. We're going to try this. It may work that I'm recording. It generally doesn't. So, let's see what it, oh, see, it doesn't work. See what it did? All it gave me was the link. It gave me my web page name. But when you share it, you post it like this, this is all you get. Now, why is that? I don't know. 
Can't figure it out. It's been doing this for about five, six days now. Unless I take it to stumble upon and, you know, reshare it. Like this one has been taken to stumble upon, as you see right here. This one gives you uh, Zeekly's link, which that's fine. I mean, I have no beef, you know, beef with that. It's just if I take it to stumble upon, post it there, then it gives me a photo. But the web page itself, I had to change these. Now I used to have this where this was a share button, but when you do that. There is not one of these things that's got where all of the links show you a number except for the official buttons. And this like button. Well, I put that on there hoping that people could, you know, at least like the page up, you know, for Facebook. Well, that ain't working evidently either. It's got 12 shares here. But see, now stumble upon on this one, it ain't, it ain't got no... Ain't got no shares, which is kind of strange. This one's got 26. This one's got 9, 51. This one's got 600 and 59. This only got six Facebook likes. You see what I'm showing you here? Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus are starting. Or there's something been wrong for the last few days. Maybe they're doing maintenance. I don't know. Uh, but it seems like it's always having maintenance for me. Now maybe for some of y'all, maybe it's not affecting y'all the same way. But I know that I could take my uh, web page and hit share here too, or was, and it wouldn't share. Look, but let's just try it. Oh, it's giving a photo now. Look at there. It wasn't doing that before. At all. Close. How come you're not? Well, there you go. Let's try this one. See if this one gives a photo. It does. How about that? That's kind of weird. They what? I guess they got part of some of it fixed. I've done share do, so I'm not sharing them again, folks. You, 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 you do understand, right? Let's try this one. See if it gets a photo, too. Uh, okay. And it does. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Because for the last few days, it hasn't been sharing there either. Which, that's a good thing. I'm glad it's back working. So this one, yeah, that one works too. How about that? So part of it's working. Maybe it's because it's I'm using the different buttons. I don't know. Something going on with the buttons, maybe. I don't know. I know that Facebook is not doing near what it should do. Not near. See, the last good day I had with Facebook was here, 45. Um, they're generally in the hundreds. So there's definitely some censoring of some sort going on with Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus, which now they seem to have partially fixed it. Because I don't generally get more than 10 or 11 generally on Google Plus. And that's, that's about right. Come on, will you go off when I click on you? But the point of it is, fact, folks, is we're getting slammed by a lot of stuff. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, there's a lot of different crap going on. And there is. And there ain't no joke about none of that. And as you see, the page is a little slow this morning as well, but I think that's my internet. I don't think that's really the page itself. I think it's my internet. That's like this. This one don't even have a stumble upon. Well, I hadn't shared it.
to no one either, so that that could have an effect. Now this one, see, let's go back to the name, you see what it is? It's got 356 shares. This was before it went down, started acting funny. Okay, this one, this one, this one. See, they're all a lot better on the second page. Just me showing you. If we go back to page one, you'll see four and five and six. The bottom one had 56. You see what I'm saying? Something is going on all over the place. And folks, I'm going to be honest. You know, I've been running stories for a long time. And, you know, what's going on with our country and what's going on with our world? Like this post right here. Uh, in fact, I got it over here. Let's just go to this page while it's already loaded. This one right here. This is a story about Putin pretty much shutting down uh, their holiday, which is from January 1st to the 15th, where all of his officials are generally off. And you know, I thought this story would would be a lot bigger than basically what it has become. It's kind of small, in fact. Um, right here, it's talking about Ukraine and Visa cards and credit cards will no longer be uh, usable in Ukraine for a while. Hmm, wonder why sanctions and this clown right here put in there and you know this is another video and another part of the story if you really want to look at it in the right direction you know he promotes everything that happens anything that might be happening whether it's the truth or a lie, he just blurts it out of his mouth for everybody to chase the rabbit hole. And they do. We all do. Not just you, not just me, but everybody's doing the same thing. And you know, this right here, folks, is, is disturbing. I mean, he talks about and tells you everything that's happening as it happens, he come out about uh, uh, Michael Brown, MH17, accusing before he even knew the facts, straight off the bat. And he'll be wrong, and he never comes out and corrects it. So everybody's still chasing the same old crap. But you know, this man right here was telling everyone a story. I mean, tells you what he's doing, and this story tells you what's going on, and the sanctions down here, and the credit cards not working in Ukraine, and all of that stuff. And I don't believe that this guy right here is going to be the same as some of the other people that he does this to. Uh, I don't think he's going to play. It's just my opinion, folks, but, you know, he's not a pushover. He's not going to be a pushover to all of this. He's not. That's the reason why I bitch, moan, groan, complain, cry, whine, tell y'all everything I can about the act, you know, to abolish corporate government. I put up a story, explain it to you, why we should get rid of it. No one listens. I get blocked for it. They won't put those pages up. This or that is wrong. It won't happen. Don't go nowhere when I put the video up, five, six hundred views. That's something else. For the last five, six days, well, since the uh, 15th, I haven't had a video that had over a thousand views on it. And that's no joke. 
with 21,000 subscribers? And then the normal everyday news type videos that I put up all the time and explain things. Even a Christmas video, just saying Merry Christmas to everybody, basically. And telling everybody to research corporate government and see what it's doing for your freedoms. But yet, no one cares anymore. Is it that no one cares? Or is the censorship so strong that no one gets my stuff? Or is there an insider, which that's what I believe, that there is an insider that is literally playing with the view counts and monitoring certain channels to steal from them to give to others? I definitely believe in that. Now, whether I can prove it or not, that's another story. I wish I could. Because if I could prove it, you can bet your sweet ass that you would be the first to know. And not only that, there would be a lot of lawsuits going on. I'm telling you, there would be a bunch of them. Because I know a bunch of people that's being done to, besides me. And if they found out for sure... Don't you think that they would all be busting their ass? You know, and what I really think it is, is I think it's a paid, I think it's the paid organizations. And somehow they like a certain individual and the other person may be subscribed up to them somehow or some way. And I think that they have access into everybody's channels with like a back door or something. Where they can do certain things, or it's just a plain individual that works inside a Google somewhere, or has a real good friend that does. That's all it can be. I don't see that. I don't see that. The things that are going on right now are as, as true as we think they may be. Because, see, I think some people have bigger channels than, than way bigger than they're being told that they have. Now, that's a fact. Because I know people that's been on YouTube since YouTube started. And I know that at one time, they could whistle in a video. And that's all they did was go, <whistles> show a screenshot of something. And that's all it was. And a thing would get 5,000 views. But today, that same person has to, has to screenshot and yell and send it to every person he knows personally. Pretty much. Send it to them personally and he only gets 3,000 to 5,000. 3,000 to 4,000 views. And gets lucky every once in a while with a 25,000 or 30,000 view video. In fact, I know two of them like that. Maybe even three or four. But there's still a certain few that they can put it out every day and the same thing every day I mean every day at the same time in the morning every day and it's the same boring horseshit same boring horseshit every day talking about the same damn stuff and what does it mean at the end of the day does that help you to understand anything about your life? No, it doesn't. Does it, does it give you anything at the end of the day about why you're a slave? Does it give you anything, in fact, to show you where you can go to fix that problem or how to go about it? Or which direction to go. And to talk about 
climate change. The word started out as global warming, if everybody... <laughs> God damn it, Marty. Will you shut up, please? Does everybody remember that global warming was the main thing? <clears throat> and now everyone, every person out there that is, you know, gatekeeping for y'all, they're out there teaching you the new word of gatekeeping and teaching you the word climate change. Let me tell y'all something, people. And I want you to understand this. The sun has been there longer than our planet, pretty much, with life on it. And our sun has also done lots of things over the years, the millions of years. Let me also tell you this. The sun is not going to react to you in a destructive way overnight. And you're not going to be able to listen to it every minute of every day and think that something new is going to happen to you tomorrow because the sun's done something today that's going to affect you tomorrow. Just ain't going to happen. It, it ain't going to happen. Why is that not going to happen? Well, the sun don't work that way. As many folks out there would like for you to believe that it will, it doesn't react like that. We have to have sun to have life. It is our sun. And it is a great thing. And you know, the sun does a lot of things to radio frequencies. And it has since we got radio in this world. Now I'll also tell you this. It's called conditions when you're on a radio. You know, when the conditions is right, I can talk to here to California. Or I may be able to talk from here to Russia or Japan or China or anywhere in the world. When the conditions are correct. And when the atmosphere is correct. And that comes from the sun, believe it or not. The solar lights, it bounces. Just like the old dinosaur called Harp. And the woodpecker, also the same thing. You know the reason why the people in the United States even found the woodpecker, even heard about the woodpecker, is because the ham operators that's out there in this country heard it because the conditions were right for the signal to come to the United States. That's how we heard it. It ain't that they had that much power to reach that far, which they had a lot of power, but that's not the point. When conditions are wrong, that power is not going to make it to the United States. It may make it to some other part of the country or world, but not to the United States at that particular time. Two hours later, it may show up. See, they can't control the atmosphere like that. But now they can heat the ionosphere with any radio broadband frequencies that they are using and which country may have that system to push the ionosphere up and that can be done and they have proven it but my point of it is, is when you talk about an old dinosaur folks the dinosaur is the equipment <clears throat> do you understand what I mean by the equipment that means the radio, that means the transmitter, okay? They're generally in one that starts off with a transmitter, a, a radio with a receiver, okay?
Okay, it transmits and receives. Starts off with that. Then they go through amplifier amplifiers. And if they got 180 antennas, or they got one great big antenna, uh, or different hookups on that one looking antenna, like the woodpecker, it's got several amplifiers hooked to that, running so they can, they co-phased them, what they call them. All of the ones in harp, all the antennas are co-phased, and so is the amplifiers. For every six towers, there was one building in between, and that one building had six amplifiers in it. And each amplifier was tuned for each antenna. Okay? And then they got a long cable that co phases all of those towers and all of those cables <clears throat> into one system, one frequency, one radio, if you want to call it that way, where it transmits on the frequency that they wanted all to transmit on at one time. You know, and I'm sick and tired of people telling me that they know every fucking thing there is to know about harp and they don't know a goddamn thing. It really pisses me off. They're closing it down and they're doing this and they're doing it and they don't know jack shit. They're just preaching their own bullshit over and over again to everybody out there about the same old stupid shit. And you know, there's only one thing that bothers me about it all. This one person used to cry and whine and crucify another person for talking about heart. Literally talking just to crucify and then come up and turn it into it's a dinosaur. Well, the dinosaur is the equipment. It's not the towers. And it's not the antennas. And actually, if you really want to know the truth, it ain't the amplifiers. Because all they got to do is add, you know, 12 to each building and give it more power. Because all they got to do is co phase them or build the amplifiers bigger, which those were capable of some good power, but they can build one amplifier that puts out way more power than the ones that they showed in those buildings. How do I know that? Because, trust me, I built my own amplifier. I know what they can build. So, you know, it's all up to y'all. The, 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 the tube that they had in there, they can buy tubes that do way more power. They can build a tube that'll put out 40, 50,000 watts, just one tube, and they could put two, they could put four in it. And each tube was pushed with another amplifier somewhere else, which amplifies the power that that actual tube puts out. And trust me, they got the transformers to push some serious power. It takes, an, it takes a good transformer to push that stuff. And as big as that building was with those three, six amplifiers in there, I'm sure they had all the, the transformer that they could stand for full duty cycle. In other words, when you key it down, it stays keyed down until you take your hand off of it. And it don't get hot. It don't get hurt. Might be why they built it in Alaska to start with. So they could run that cold air right across them fins on the amplifier to keep that transmitting tube cool because see some of them glow they turn red red hot inside and if you get them too hot they'll blow so if they got that ice cold air running spread across them I'm sure they don't glow red not for long you see my point you know folks I sit here and started making a video about one thing, and yet I'm talking about a lots of things that's just been bothering me lately. I'm tired of climate change. I am tired of it. I'm tired of people telling me that climate change is real. Well, it's always been real, people.
climate change has been around since way before any of you people were born. The climate is going to continuously change. It is designed that way by not your forefathers by means, but by your God of whatever kind you may have. The supreme being of the world created your son and your land and your home. Do you understand what I mean by that, folks? Now, for the ones of you that, that worship this horse shit that you push constantly, daily, and every minute of every day, and think you're all of that, and the ones that say that they've had a certain thing out for hundreds of hundreds, I mean, not for hundreds of years, but for three or four years, and they just had it put up in the last year, talking about weather modification and solar and uh, harp and weather modification and chemtrails and uh, sinkholes and all that bullshit. You know, what bothers me is these people will lie to you, to your face, over and over and over again, to you daily, and they have no grief about it. And then they start off with one subject, and they end up at the end, after a couple of years, they forget about who you are, people. They do. They forget who you are. They forget who you are and then they push in their agenda for not you and not for them, but for the main objective. They're pushing that gate for you. They're pushing that gate open for you and sucking you in. And they suck you in and then you're on their side. Are you? Are you really on their side when you're talking about the sun? And you're talking about climate change and all of the other bullshit that's going on in this world. Are you sitting there worrying about all that whole shit? Are you? No, you're not worried about none of that crap. You're worried about what's going on in your world every day. What's going on in your world and what's going on. That's the main objective. What's going on. The sun is your friend. It is. It always has been. If it wasn't for the sun, you wouldn't get vitamin D in your body. But you've got groups out there that will tell you that don't get in the sun. Then you got other groups out there that want you to stare at the sun. And you'll get energy from the sun. Well, will you? Hmm. Don't know. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever actually done any welding before, but I have done quite a bit over the last 33 years, and I've burnt my eyes several times. And you know, you can sit there and look at the sun too, and it won't blind you because it's not quite that bright. But I guarantee you, if you look at the sun for very long in the summertime, You'll, burn, you'll sunburn your eyes. And sometimes you can be outside and trying to get a tan. And you can sunburn your eyes. Did you know that? Sure can. It doesn't really burn you, but it burns the skin. It's not like the same thing as a flash burn, but it's still a burn to your eyes. And it hurts almost the same. In fact, it probably does, except you don't burn the retina as well. You just burn the outside. So it feels like you have sand in your eyes. But when you burn your outer eye and then you burn the inner part of the eye where the lens magnifies it, boy, that's some hurting ass shit because it burns inside and outside. That hurts. Gives you cataracts too. Screws your eyes up. Can blind you. Sure can. But you know, when you talk about harp and you talk about Weather modification and, you know, all of that stuff. You know, the word come from harp and it was put on a silver platter for you, wasn't it? Well, 
No, let me explain that to y'all. No, it wasn't put on a silver platter for you. It sure as hell wasn't. You know how I know that? Because it took a long time. A long time. I mean a long time for people to believe that the woodpecker from Russia was out there. It did. And then when it finally got out there, it come back with harp because the United States developed their own system, which they probably already had, but wasn't telling anyone anyway. You know, like top secret. And, you know, it's kind of like uh, the stealth plane that they told us all about in the Iraq, the first Iraq war. We saw it for the very first time after the Iraq war. It's no longer being made. They've already took it out of commission because, you know why? They got something new, folks. They got something new. When you hear them say that they're closing a facility down or they're doing this or they're doing that, they're not really closing shit. You know what they're really doing, folks? They're giving you more expensive developments. They're giving you an upgrade is what they're giving you. Even though they say that they close and harp and they've done this and they've done that and then they come out and says, well, we're not closing the harp at all. Well, basically all I think it was was to make all of the people that was handling harp start with stop handling it all together so they could change the equipment while they were doing so. Give the equipment not the antennas, because it didn't need no upgrading, other than cleaning, which they have to do anyway. Uh, they give the equipment an upgrade, which gives it more power, and gives it more frequencies, and gives it more things that they need it to do. Like cross-banning frequencies. Yeah, with digital. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like putting something like microwave frequencies up, bombarding it with HF frequencies and pushing it somewhere else. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, though. People, y'all need to friggin' grow up. You really do. The ones of you out there that think you know something, you don't know jack shit. You never have. You can speak a good speech, and you can talk a good line, and you can tell everybody the same shit in four to three minutes or two minutes. Whatever you want to do. But what you're doing is the same old bullshit is lying to the people. Just for a dollar. And that's just straight up. You know, I didn't start this video to be like this. And I didn't mean for it to be this long. In fact, when I make and put this video in the movie maker. I'm going to have to state that this is going to be a long winter because I wasn't expecting it to be this long. It's just the things that's been bothering me and bothering me and bothering me about this climate change. and uh, It's really supposed to be global warming, which we're not having. That is a complete line, a complete hoax. It's always been. The ice always melts in the North Pole and always melts in the South Pole. And it's going to continue to do so for many of many of more thousands of years. Maybe millions. I don't know. I don't know how long the sun's going to burn. That's only God's gift. No one on this planet can ever tell you when that's going to happen. And when it does, when the sun goes out, then you've got a problem. Now, can man destroy the planet? Yes. The man, man can destroy this planet with nuclear weapons. And yes, they can destroy the United States. And they are doing a very good job with all of you people keep going and buying cell phones, cell phones, cell phones, cell phones, cell phones, cell phones, cell phones. smart, smart phones, smart, 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 smart. Let's get it on microwave frequencies for you. We won't hurt you. It is not going to hurt you. No, no bullshit. People, bullshit. Every tower that I've seen puts out anywhere from 15 to 25,000 watts. 
That's the multiplication factor of the height, the antenna gain, and that is the power of the transmitter itself. And they don't stop pushing power. Your microwave oven puts out 1,500 watts. It's cooking your food. If you live within 100 feet of a microwave tower, which they're fixing to build a subdivision right next to one, and the person, the people that buy those houses over there are going to end up sick and dead. Why? Because they're constantly being microwaved. You know, it's kind of like sitting in a... Uh, you know them tannin booths that people were getting sick from sitting in there because the light, which is high frequency, was burning them from the inside. Y'all remember all that? Same damn thing. Except that that lighting is not near as much power as a cell tower. But y'all keep continuously buying cell phones and you don't say nothing about it and nobody talks about it oh no that's voodoo we that's bullshit that ain't happening oh no harps all bullshit oh space fences is all bullshit everything's all bullshit give me another fucking smartphone so i can tell the whole goddamn world that this man's fucking crazy fuck off you stupid Ignorant fucks from my cold dead hands. Abolish corporate government for your freedoms. Much love. Have a good day to the rest of you that are smart enough to realize that someone's got more sense than other dumbasses out there. Have a great day. Don't forget to follow Tattoo1009.com on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Daniel Emotion and stumble upon. Please help spread the word by sharing our articles on your favorite social networks. Go to the links in the below section for updates every day. From my cold dead hands abolish the corporate government.